up, Kelly? Well, we uh, spent our first day on the water out there. Interesting day. Learned a lot. Saw a lot. Didn't catch a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> we were slanging baits, though. Bait slanging. Bait slanging today. We were hitting all different levels. What was it like watching a video of your old uh, colleague, Doc Holliday, on YouTube? Flashback. Yeah. When's the last time you talked to that dude? Wow. Doc. How long has it been? Long time, Doc. Yeah? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. You guys have shared some, some special experiences oh, together. Oh, gosh. It's, it's taken some pretty it's awesome fun. pictures it's of them. It's just interesting how I was there to take two pictures of two big striper and his big bass that can see this and I captured the moment with uh, his cameras it took some I guess I believe some decent pictures never saw the pictures but from what you're telling me they came oh, out oh you're gonna see them and so after all these years else. after all these years wow you know after I photographed those pictures and now 20 years later and I'm gonna see the pictures for the yeah. first time you know and I know how important those pictures were to be taken after all the years I had people hey can you take a picture for me and blow, blow the picture, and never you know, send them to you? Either even that, yeah, not send me the photos after that. I said, please send me the photos, or you know, hand them the camera, and they cut half the fish off, or cut my ha ha head off, or whatever. Just couldn't get a good shot. And uh, I know how important that was. That's why I wanted to step up and make sure you got some decent shots. So. <clears throat> well, let's uh, let's change that up a little bit. Let's c give him a call. Get you guys on the phone together. Cause I'm kind of curious. Hello, Doc. What's up, Doc? It's all over. Hey, man, what's going on? The artist. Oh, man. <laughs> man, you good. I'm talking to the star, man, you know? <laughs> How you doing, man? <laughs> uh, doing well, brother. Finally uh, got out in the lake today for the first time this year. What lake did you go to? Um, I went to actually. Okay, yeah. they got water. Yeah, they got water coming in daily. It was interesting, but... Really? Yeah. Saw some saw some cool stuff, uh, but we didn't get one in the boat. Um, had three short bites, um, but saw some lives. I had one big follower on the graph right under the trolling motors. Came right off the bottom, um, mm -hmm. you know. But she didn't ma make a move on the bait uh, to eat it. So, but dude, she was a big one. Oh, is that right? So uh, the swim baits, the diving baits. Uh, yeah, it, it was actually a smaller version of a uh, prototype of that bait that uh, I gave you. Okay. Actually, okay. No, I, was, I was throwing the full size. I was throwing the same size. Okay, yeah. the size I got to, what is that's the 9 inch, right? Yeah, 9 and 3 quarter inch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but so man, that's the... When's the last time you actually talked to Kelly? You, you watch any of the videos of him on the on YouTube? Yeah. Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Dave, the guy I fished with him, have to send it to me, so I was able to look at those. Oh, really? Yeah. Was that before yeah. uh, I, I came and did the interviews with you? Uh, I seen a couple, but I didn't see those. the rest of them until after you came uh did the interview. Oh, man. When's the last time you talked to that guy? Oh, it's been a while since I talked to Kelly. A long time. You know, oh, he kind of keeps in touch with me over the emails and... Text. The last one he sent me is when his uh, dad passed away. Okay, so pretty recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but he uh, emailed me weekly. Uh, nice. Oh, that's cool. You guys do stay in touch. What's it going to take to get you guys both on the same boat together, man? <laughs> is that going to happen? No, yeah, I know. That'll be something because it's been a while. Because I don't think, have, I never really fished with him. I've been on the, the lake with him. He was in his boat and I was in mine. Yeah, same and, story with me until yeah, today. Yeah. I finally yeah. drug him out today. I got him. Oh, on the... you did! Yeah. Did you did you make him throw a big uh, a swim bait? I didn't have to make him do anything. I couldn't I couldn't get him to put it down. Ah, finally, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> that was good. That's good because you know that was the thing about him throwing the swim bait because I talked to the guy that he was with the day I got the fourteen. Yeah. Yeah, I talked to Greg today. Uh, yesterday, actually. And, oh, uh, no kidding. 
Yeah, and I was telling him about uh, you, and I had sent him that deal about him and Kelly, and he said, that's funny. At the time, Kelly just wanted to throw, they was throwing swim baits that, I mean, uh, spinner baits that day when we got, when I got the 14. Because, wow. yeah, I wanted to confirm what would you what they was doing, and he said, oh, yeah, yeah, Kelly wanted to throw uh, the spinner baits, and I said, yeah, that's when we were starting to commit to on the, uh, the Worm Kings at the time. <laughs> well. That's cool. That's cool, though. Wow, well, that's got him out there throwing the swim bait, huh? Oh yeah, he got uh, he got three bites on it today. Yeah, so he's convinced, huh? Oh, he knows. <laughs> yeah, he knows. he knows. And that's the thing too is what you're comfortable with, because a lot of guys just want to get bites. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then there are some that will wait for that one bite. To might take a couple trips, but you know it's a commitment. Now, now, is the water on the east end back there? Or? It's getting there, yeah. It, it's it's back up to where uh, it was before I left, and it's continuing to climb. So, okay, so it's going to get up there, huh? Yeah, it's pretty interesting, man. It's uh, a little crazy. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, so. Yeah, because it definitely get some water in there. Those fish, so I guess they uh, are starting to stop trout out there. Well, uh, they did put one plant in there, but it's not consistent, so who knows. And I wonder why, because, you know, in the past, they used to consistently put trout in uh, oh, pairs. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah and that was uh, why those fish did well out there. If they start that again, those fish should show back up. Yeah, I mean, two thousand, you know, five years ago, I was watching them consistently chasing them where I was catching them, you know. So yeah, yeah, was, yeah, if they did that. And they was doing it, what, every two weeks they was uh, stocking them? It was pretty regular, at least once a month. Yeah, yeah, once a month is, is still good there at that lake. But yeah. uh, there was one time that they was doing an every two week thing. Um, I don't know if it was funding or what. Uh, that was how everywhere used was. to be, you know, back. In oh the yeah, yeah, that's true. Everywhere it was still. But uh, Paris was consistent on their trout stocking out there. Uh, hey, yeah. is there a doctor in the house? I need a doctor. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I, I need somebody to net a big fish. <laughs> and also, too, a good photographer. Do you know one? <laughs> you know, you Doc, take, Kelly was telling take, me he's never seen those actual pictures. Oh, he haven't? And he, that's and he's the one that took the pictures. Uh, got so that's why I said one thing. That's one thing we had going. He was the photographer on that on those shots. Oh man! <laughs> my first Worm King fish was my biggest fish. And, that was wow. <laughs> and him and Greg was going by, and he was driving Greg's boat. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, I was flying. Yeah. We were flying. I was flying on that boat, man. It was. Moving. And, I, and I told him, and I and. Uh, the guy up there, that was Harry Waycase, he said, there goes your buddies there. And I said, I'll never catch them. I have to cut them off at the pass with this 115 I got, you know. <laughs> so, and he was wondering, who is this guy trying getting in front of us? Because I drove ahead of them so I can kind of cut them off because I knew he was pushing the 200. There's no way I can catch him, right? And so Kelly saw me coming, so he finally slowed down and Greg told him, oh, that's Doc, you yeah. <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still remember it. Now, things I don't remember, like the last couple of weeks or something, but I remember that day. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good reason to. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, yeah, that was uh, back in the day. And I just talked to Greg yesterday. That's funny. And I have to call him tomorrow and tell him about it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, great. him and uh, Greg fished up there. That was a Saturday, and I was telling you, that was like the, uh, it was February, uh, what is it called, President's Day was something going on during that time. It was a holiday, and we happened to go up there, and those fish were starting to chase trout, and you can see those trout come zooming out of the water, and you know what was going on. You know oh, yeah. how that goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we was on the front of that island and rotating from there back in Station Canyon. <clears throat> and those fish was like a highway sometime during the day, especially when the wind start blowing, they was going to show up. You know? uh oh. So how's Kelly doing? I'm doing okay, Doc. Uh, doing? 
Yeah, I can't, can't, In 800 can't, feet, can't your complain. destination will be on the left. Oh, that's good, man. Um, so um, you're doing the right thing. You don't have to go to that convention center no more. Oh, I've been retired for, I believe, three three years now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's good, because you know they got that ma'am show, and I know how you missed that. Oh, we drove right by it. Yeah, yeah. I got, I, that was a money-making show for me, the ma'am show. Yeah. yeah. I did did really well on that for many years, yeah. Uh, but you know, I don't miss. I really don't miss it. I'm, uh, I'm over it. You know, I'm yeah. just focusing on on other things and more important. Yeah, I things. see the, uh, I see you doing the swim bait thing. Uh, is that a uh, sinking bait or a floating bait or what? Uh, today we, uh, today actually, I did. We did a lot of sinking baits uh, predominantly, but we hit different uh, levels. You know, uh, mid mid depth. I fished. I fished a lot on the bottom too, and I mixed it up and. But I got bit. I got mid a uh, bit mid range too. Got got hammered three times, but they they weren't big big fish. But they uh -huh. but they were hitting the bait, you know. But the uh -huh. condi conditions and the way things lined up, it was just the right time. And I had about a 15 minute window, and I got three bites, and uh, you know I had them right at the, one right at the boat that just came in and railed me right at the boat. It looked like a good five six pound fish at least. And, yeah, yeah. but they were kind of like slapping it, you know, and from, from what I, what I saw and then basically from what I've heard as well, that's the kind of, what's the deal that's happening right now, you know, the fish, mm -hmm. are, the fish are coming up and they're just kind of slapping at the bait and they're not really committing to it. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, every day is different. Tomorrow's a different day. We're going to go back out and we're going to give it a shot tomorrow. And okay. I, I have a uh, high hopes tomorrow for multiple, multiple uh, bites and just different techniques and things are going to uh, change with the work materializing that we got happening, you know. Um, and and our you know the scenario right now from what we observed today is uh -huh. is just crazy. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of potential. The, but yeah, the potential and from what we're seeing for right for January, I mean is is off the chart, oh. off the chart. Okay. Well, January, January was the month up at uh, Casitas Lake is where it's, they really started. Like, I got good fish starting, like, the second week of January, and February was obviously the best, you know. So it should be good. What is your water clarity out there? Oh, at three to five three, feet. And three to three, four feet, yeah, three, yeah, four feet. Yeah, ending. yeah. You know? You get, it, you get a breeze at all, or? <laughs> yeah. A little bit, a little bit here and there, definitely, yeah. but not enough, yeah. not enough. But you know, tomorrow we'll get some love. That's the whole thing. We're, we're, we're. I'm really focusing on this weather. This just, you know, this what's going to happen tomorrow? The change and. Oh yeah, this low pressure is going to going to and, make them active, and, and just, then uh, it's going to push a little breeze with it too. You know, so we're we're gonna we're gonna capitalize on the scenarios that we get handed tomorrow and make adjustments, and you know, I think. Uh, We'll have some stories and some good footage tomorrow to to yeah. really show uh, everybody what's happening and uh, you know. What you do tomorrow, yeah. Doc? I'll get out of the way. I'll I'll play uh, boat captain if you can come out. Uh, he want me to come out there, huh? Man, if you're up for it, brother, I'll I'll sit in the back with a remote control and stay out of your guys' way and let you guys do your thing. Yeah, and do the swinging, huh? Yeah, let you two have at it. That'd be cool. Yeah, no. I didn't even get my license yet. <laughs> oh, you can buy it online, brother. It's 2018. <laughs> yeah, I know, and you know what? I was at Walmart today and told Barbara I should get my license today. That's right. Yeah. You should. And, uh, and that was the only thing. They probably sell them out there, I, mean, I would assume, huh? Yeah, they, they, I'm sure they do. But like I said, you know, if you really want to come out, man, it'd be that easy. You could you could order it uh, on the computer tonight, and uh, you'd be good. That's what I did. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, super easy. Just go to the DFG website and go to online sales. Uh huh. And just save a copy to your phone. That way, if you get checked, be like, "Look, here you, here I am." Plus, they can look you up in the system. You can, oh, okay. You can print a copy. Got... Yeah, you could yeah, print okay. a copy, but like, there's really no need to. Like, I just save the attachment to my phone. Uh huh. That's so what... you're doing all day or tomorrow? Or what? Um, we're thinking about getting out there. Well, we got out there about same, like, same, 10, probably 10, same thing 10, we did yeah. today. We'll probably leave the house around eight, eight thirty. Uh -huh. Um. And probably be fishing honestly a little bit sooner, probably by like nine thirty ten, uh, and fish till dark. That was the pl that's kind of what we did today, and that was kind of nice, you know. Okay. Um, and then you know we can meet you there or whatever. Uh, we're coming from Kelly's house using the Garden Grove area, so it probably makes more sense for you just to meet us there if you want to come out. 
Yeah, yeah, maybe uh, that would be a thing to do. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can bring bring your gear if you want. You know, I got gear you can use. Uh, I got plenty of baits. Uh, there's plenty of room on the front, like I said, you know, and uh, it'd be cool. It'd be an honor for me to, to share the boat with the, both of you guys. And you I, know I, what? I want to sit there and kind of listen to the two of you guys go back and forth about the good old days. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, see if I got a picture I can bring Kelly that he uh, took <laughs> of. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, but yeah, you know what? That's something to think about there. So you're talking about uh, be there around 10 o'clock, you said? Yeah, 9.30, 10. 9.30, okay. So well, that's something uh, fellas should be able to do. Yeah, and I think it's actually a pretty mellow uh, front coming in, so it shouldn't be too crazy as far as weather conditions. But uh -huh. um, I don't know. I think we got a pretty good window set up for tomorrow. Um, might as well try and get a big one in the boat or two or three or four or five. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's an idea. Mm. Okay. Yeah, bring a couple of those uh, plastic baits with those wings on them while you're at it too, so we can talk about those. I sure will, and I can bring a surprise one. Uh -oh. I know they they don't want me to talk about it, but uh, well, we'll talk about that. All right, <laughs> okay, sounds so. good. Nobody, uh, uh, only probably two people had those things. I didn't know. I, th I was going to tell you about that on the next trip. You know? Oh, man. Well, it looks like that might be in the morning, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, we'll talk about that kind of stuff. Cool. Well, these guys. <laughs> I think it's uh, overdue for you guys to be in the same boat together, in my opinion. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm down for it. Okay, we do that, and then um, I'll bring a couple of those baits. We'll see what you want to do, and uh, I'll make it make it out there. I'll make it uh, make a window. I'll make some calls and tell them that I got a appointment tomorrow. Oh man, this is like the old Casitas days. You're gonna run 100 yeah. miles for four hours. <laughs> I know, I did. That was so <laughs> yeah, it was the easy thing to do because it was like, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm working, and then when uh, the window opened up, and you know the potential that was there, it wasn't hard to do that. When Kelly heard yeah. that part, because we watched that video on the way home, and uh, Kelly's like, he did what? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, man, and it was up. And I did it so much that Randy started loaning me one of his uh, rental boats. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, and that was cool of him to do that, because it was good for hit the lake, too. They got good press on that. Yeah, you know? everybody won. No, oh, yeah, yeah, and then Randy was a good guy, you know. Yeah, he was. And then, because I I was still uh, counting my pennies in too, and then he was giving me those uh, worm kings to fish, and I'll pay him when I came back the next time. You know, he trusted me that much. And I, then after that, things got to rolling for a fella, and then he thought he made the right decision, you know? Nice. Oh, yeah. So everybody helps another down the road. It comes back to him in a good way. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Forward. Yeah. All right, Doc. So, well, well, we'll let you go since you got tackled to rig up now. Um, okay. All right. <laughs> and yeah, so, uh, yeah, give us a call in the morning. Okay. I sure will. We'll see you in the morning. Okay. See you in the morning. All right. All right. Bye. Good talk to you, Kelly. You got it. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Wow. Totally unexpected. See what I did there, guys? Crazy. What yeah. a connection. Just like... Yeah, man. How do you, you know, put how do you put something like that together? Honestly, I, mean, I think it's it's it kind of goes back to how easy it is for us in this day and age to stay disconnected, even though like you guys have been staying kind of connected. <clears throat> yeah, just, well, just, heard his just voice. some email, just yeah, email, uh, some simple emails, but no verbal verbiage. I mean, it's been a long time. It's even hard for my generation yeah. to pick up the phone and actually call somebody. You know, yeah. Uh, let alone like get out on a boat and spend some time with somebody that you know you have such shared history with. Um, so I hope you didn't mind me doing that. No, no, it'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I just want to kind of geek out as that little kid again and just, you know, let you guys do uh, what you guys do best, man. Uh, tomorrow's crazy. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> wow. Mixed bag of just every, a collage of everything coming at you and just, but the, what, you know, what's happening is going to be interesting. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. Definitely. Yeah, cool. I'm pumped. Well, let's get this boat disconnected, oh, charging. Yeah. We got we got you work know, to do. We got work to do. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Definitely. Stay tuned.
doctor's in the house. 